Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be re reviewing the JVC MX-D528B. Again, nice catchy name, big fan of that. Um, I picked this up for £129 here in the UK, which is a very good price, to be honest, by anyone's standards. Um, so boasting a 200 watt output power, two tweeters, two woofers. So we've got a good setup there already. We've got radio, mic and guitar inputs, and it weighs just shy of 11 kilos. So pretty average specs all round, to be honest. But for that price, you're looking quite good. We've got actually a decent light setup going on. As you can see, the two tweeters up the top there. Um, a nice little screen here, which tells us what's going on, what volume we've got the speaker at, etc. And then quite a nice control panel up here. We've got lights under the dial, uh, gold buttons, uh, not too, I don't want to press them because they'll do weird things, but don't sound too bad at all. Um, we've got a booster button on the side here, which tells me I'm now in booster mode and the lights go a bit crazy. Um, or we've got booster off. Power button kind of looks like a Lamborghini type engine start button. I really like these. And then we've got dials for the mic, echo, mic volume, our light color and the guitar volume. Got mic in, guitar in, line in, USBs. We've got, honestly, for your money, you're getting a lot here. We've got handles on the side to help us pick it up. And then on the back, we've got our antenna, which obviously isn't connected to anything necessarily at the moment. Um, and our audio inputs, some bass ports and the power down there. So honestly, for the money here, it's, it's impressive. I'm a big fan. Because, um, yeah. Uh, and obviously if we're getting that 200 watt output power as well for 129 pound you really can't complain um i also like um different to some speakers of this range where you turn the, the volume up and down on the phone uh or on the speaker it matches it with the phone where a lot with a lot of others the volume is 50 on the speaker and then you have to adjust it separately on your phone and that's a bit of a hassle um and it's nice that this it kind of syncs like that it's something you normally only see from higher end speakers if I'm honest so it's nice that we've got that going here um, I'm going to obviously do a sound test now diamond eyes 80% volume and we'll see what we think broken along I feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town we're searching for the lost and found but you don't care you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air like a blazing flare Cool, so now we've had a listen to that, um, obviously you can tell for yourself what you think of that. Um, I think it's got some, some strong bass to it, um, nice clarity, we've got the two, two drivers there which are at reasonable size, so we're getting good bass out of them, but also loud and cleared vocals, so we're getting pretty much everything you want. You've also got the two tweeters in the back for the higher end stuff, so it's got a really good kind of dynamic range going on here. Um, and for 129 quid, it's, it's almost unrivaled, to be honest, and I didn't expect it to be like this at all. I expected it to be a cheap, you know, hunk of junk, if I'm honest, but it's not at all. It's it's actually um, very comparable. Um, so yeah, for 129 quid, I would say go snatch it up right now before they realise what they've got and put the price up. Um, 
I don't normally say that with things of this <laughs> of this price and especially things that are effectively unbranded they're not but JVC isn't I wouldn't say is a big is a big company in this space so yeah for one of the for one of the less known companies one of the maybe maybe looked down upon um I would consider this a proper win so yeah I'm I'm excited about this uh, if you have any comments leave them down and I will do my best to reply